peace. Today we're going to be making this delicious spaghetti squash recipe. So let's get into it. The first thing you're going to do is taking a very sharp knife, you're going to cut your spaghetti squash down the middle horizontally because we're going to be using this as our bowl. And from there you're going to spoon out all of the middle and you can throw all of that away unless you want to keep your seeds for growing and you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now you don't want to push the fork all the way through but just make some indentations in the back and then we're going to flip it back over and put in some avocado oil or grapeseed oil and moisturize that all around in there, get her all lubricated and then we're going to go in with our seasoning. So we have some pink Himalayan sea salt, fennel seeds, red chili flakes, and some basil. And then from there you're going to flip them back over and pop them in the oven for about 30 minutes. And the reason you flip them over like this is so the inside doesn't get too dry. And then for our filling, I use green bell pepper, red bell pepper, red onion, and a little bit of serrano chili for some heat. And then I put in just a dash, maybe half a teaspoon of tamarind paste just because it adds so much flavor. Some onion powder, of course some pink Himalayan sea salt, stir that all around. I have it on medium low with some avocado oil and we're going to cook that down a little bit and now let's marinate our mushrooms. So I have some fresh rosemary in there, shallot, and then let's go in with our coconut aminos, red pepper flakes, basil, cayenne, salt, and then this is our mock garlic sauce. We add this to a lot of our recipes because in an alkaline lifestyle, we don't utilize garlic. So we use our mock garlic sauce for just a lot of different recipes. But if that's something you're interested in, let me know and I can make a separate video on that. And then once the veggies have cooked down, we're gonna add in our mushrooms because mushrooms don't take as much time. And let's get into our marinara sauce. So I have about eight to 10 small Roma tomatoes, about half a shallot, some sea salt, and then I left it in the blending, the blender that I used for the mock garlic sauce just so it could get a little bit of that flavor. And then I added in a little more mock garlic sauce here. And I have this on medium low. We're gonna let that cook down. It is gonna bubble up, so just you know, keep an eye on it. You don't want it to burn or splatter all over your kitchen. And here I am trying it. You always wanna try as you go along with cooking. I, that's a, a major tip I can give. And then I added in a little bit of date syrup. Here, I don't know where I'm supposed to put the basil. Um, and then some sea salt, and that was it for this. Now our veggies are looking beautiful. They're glistening. They're just waiting to be eaten. And after 30 minutes, our spaghetti squash is out of the oven and you just take a fork and fork it. And it literally comes out like spaghetti. It's, it's just amazing how versatile nature is. I put a little bit of fresh olive oil in there and now let's load it up. So we have our veggies and then I put a layer of marinara sauce some more veggies on top. And this is just such a great recipe. If you're looking for something that isn't gonna take too much time in the kitchen, oh, here is a little more mock garlic sauce and some dried basil. I would have used fresh if I had it. Always fresh herbs are, that's the top tier. But if you don't have it, it's all good. But this is great because it's gluten-free. Like I said, if you don't want to spend too much time in the kitchen, but you still want something healthy and flavorful, this is extremely flavorful. We loved it, and we didn't feel super full after. It was like a perfect feeling of satiation. So I highly recommend this. Let me know if you make it. Enjoy!